Hey guys, and welcome back to Teams Tuesday. Today, we are following up on the huge amount of interest that we had in our Apple AirPods video and getting Apple AirPods to work successfully with Windows 10. Now, loads of you got in touch with us to say that after we gave you the uh, great advice, that the software that we recommended from Jabra had actually stopped working and that the latest version of the Jabra software wouldn't let you do the fix anymore. Well, we've still got a way around that for you, so let's get into it. Okay, so in our previous video, we showed you how to go ahead and pair your AirPods Pro with Windows 10 using the Jabra software, downloading it directly from the Jabra website. And now we got some feedback from you guys that actually this stopped working after a little while. And that's because when we look here on the January 25th update of the Jabra software, they actually removed third-party vendor headsets. So you could no longer pair your AirPods Pro using the Jabra software. Now the good news is for anyone who installed the version previously from December 17th, then you can carry on because you've already installed the, the AirPods, you've already paired them, and you can continue to just keep updating the software with no problems at all. So that says to us, if you could get hold of a copy of the December 17th software, say from a helpful URL right here, that you could go ahead and download that and that you could install it yourself. So let's go and do that now. We're gonna download the December 17th version of this software. This version right here, 5017635. Now, whilst that's happening, what I'm just going to do is jump into my Bluetooth settings because you will probably already have your AirPods paired to your Windows 10 laptop. We don't want that, okay? We don't want the AirPods talking directly to Windows. So let's click here and remove them. Yes, there we go. Okay, so they are now removed. The AirPods no longer talk to Windows directly. Now, we've got our Jabra Direct software right here. Let's have a look. And let's just hover over and you can see on the screen version 501635. That is exactly the same as this version right here. That's the one we want. Okay, so let's run that. Here we go, accept the license terms. And don't forget, after we've installed this and we've gone through this process, there is no problem at all in updating the software to the latest versions. Okay, let's launch the software. There we go, so Jabra Direct. Now, what I'm gonna do is take our Bluetooth dongle and I'm gonna pop this into the USB socket. Okay, here it is. So here's our Jabra Link 370. If we click on here, we can check whether there are any updates or firmware updates or anything like that. I'll go back and just look under devices and Bluetooth. You can see that I don't have any devices paired at the moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the AirPods into pairing mode by pressing and holding the white button on the back of the case until the white light on the front starts to flash like this. And then I'm gonna hit search. Okay, you can see straight away we've got AirPods Pro, so let's hit connect. And you should see that these now connect. You've got a little green light on the front of the case, you've got a little blue light on the Jabra dongle on the USB. Now, what we have found in our experience is that this bit looks like it freezes. It looks like it just sits stuck here at this connecting phase. So, once that's done, and once it's been through the process, you can try and keep hitting connect, but it's not gonna work. It looks like it's not doing anything. Just reboot the computer. Watch this. Okay, so we've done the quick reboot. Let's fire up the Jabra software. All right, and then what you should be able to see, let's have a quick look. Here's the device, so this is our USB dongle. Under Bluetooth, you can now see paired devices, AirPods Pro. So although in the previous step, it looked like it hadn't quite finished, a quick reboot settles that down. So we now have the AirPods Pro as a paired device. Now, I also said to you that you can feel free to go ahead and update everything at this stage. So we can check for updates and see if there are any updates available for the firmware or any firm updates for the software. So actually we know there are new versions of the software because we installed the older one to get around this. So let's do the update. Okay, we're gonna download the latest version here. And I'm doing this just because I wanna to prove to you that you can quite safely go ahead and install the older version get the AirPods paired, make sure they're working, and then go ahead and install the new version. 
Okay, so the latest version is downloaded. Just a quick scan for viruses and then let's open and let's get installing. Okay, so the latest version, install. Okay, you can see it's closed the old version in the background while it does the update. And let's launch. Okay, so we're now on the latest version of the Jabra software. Again, our device is the Jabra Link 370. Bluetooth and under paired devices, we have our AirPods Pro. And now I can go ahead and take these out of the case and pop them in and straight away, as soon as I open the case, I can see that the blue light comes on on the Jabra dongle, letting me know that it is connected and these are now paired. So I'm ready to go ahead and make my Microsoft Teams calls or my Zoom calls. And when I do, I'm just gonna set the device to be the Jabra Link 370. Last thing to do then is to go ahead and jump into Microsoft Teams and change the audio device. So we're gonna go into Teams, gonna hit your little profile picture or your initials up here. We're gonna hit settings. We're gonna go over to devices and I'm gonna change the drop down box to be the Jabra Link 370. And that's it, speakers of the 370, microphones the 370, and you're done. Go ahead and click that cross. And that's it, you're all set. And that's it. Once again, you're back to having lovely crisp audio and those beautiful Apple AirPods Pro connecting seamlessly with Windows 10. You're welcome, again. All right, take it easy guys, and we will see you next time.